Hey, what's going on? A couple of weeks ago, I have bought a brand new, super sharp, very high magnification MAC lens, the 60mm of Laura. And I have used it the first time and I broke it. Well, actually, I did some snowflake photography, but directly after that, I tried to set up a new project with time lapsing mushrooms, and then this happens. Wait, I'm gonna show you. My plan actually was to grow mushroom out of this box. But then, when I was setting up the camera, the driver broke and the camera directly fell on the lens. And the reason this actually happened is that the screw of the ball head somehow broke. So, as you can see, it is even a little banded and the tip broke off so that the, ki so that the camera directly crashed with the lens on the concrete. I really was kind of shocked, especially when I realized that the glass was broken and I said, wow, that was kind of an expensive snowflake shoot. But yeah, then I realized that Lauer actually has put a UV filter onto that lens and the glass of that UV filter was smashed. So I tried to remove it and see if the inside of the lens is still working. But as if the whole aluminum case of this lens and this filter was totally deformed. It was kind of difficult to remove the filter. So I did yeah, what I thought would be a good idea and that is remove the glass. But actually this was extremely stupid, especially because I was holding the lens like this. So when removing the glass, all the nice glass particles fell down into the lens and because everything in the lens is covered with oil, it was super difficult to remove all this nice, nice, all those small glass particles. It, it was horrible. So when you run into this issue and you break a deformed UV filter in front of your lens, get sure to hold your camera at this position when removing the glass. Otherwise, yeah, you will have a lot of fun cleaning up everything and maybe damaging even more. But things got even worse because I have used this cool tip to remove this small glass particles. And the problem is because there are those hairs and fabric on the cool tip and this sticked to the oil inside the lens and everything got even worse. Then I had the first, I took the first good decision that day and that was actually just to use this swap here, which normally I used to uh, clean up the sensor and then I could remove most of the glass particle. And here's a fun fact. This is actually the first lens I have ever bought with no additional UV filter. Normally when I buy a lens, I say, okay, the lens is super expensive. I have to protect it. I buy a UV filter just to prevent any scratches and stuff. And here I thought I would just use it inside my house for time lapse. So I don't need any UV filter. And I didn't even recognize that Laura has already put a UV filter in front of the lens. So I was kind of surprised when I realized that I did not break the lens, but only the UV filter. <laughs> so my recommendation really for you is that when you buy a brand new lens, invest 10 euro to protect the front. And now we're gonna test if this lens actually survives. I have removed most of the glass particles and I have not touched the lens yet. I have not tested it yet. I really have no idea if, if it's still working. It is a manual lens, so there's no uh, electronics, no autofocus which could break. So I hope that it works, but now let's find out. I don't know if you heard that, but it does work, it does focus, but I can still hear that there's a lot of glass inside, so the focus does not really sound very good. I think I have to keep cleaning it. It seems to work, but there's still a lot of glass inside, so yeah, I'm not 100% not sure. I think I have somehow to remove the ring of the old UV filter, clean a little bit, add a new UV filter and then I think for me the lens will be usable because I just do time lapse with this specific lens. I hope that you could learn a little bit of my stupidity in this video so that you don't the same mistakes as I did. I hope you enjoyed the video, have a good day and hopefully see you in the next week.